Hi, this is Javi Rappaport with Torah Wisdom to Go. Thanks so much for joining me. This week's Torah portion, Nitzavim, is always read just prior to Rosh Hashanah. It's Moshe's final day in this world, and he reiterates to the Jewish people that eternal bond that we have with God. Atem Nitzavim Hayom Kulchem. Hashem, God assures us, you stand together today, upright, strong, and tall. Kulchem, all of you. And then the Pasuk enumerates, Rashechem, Shivtechem, your leaders, heads of tribes, and it goes on, sheriffs, and enumerates all the different levels till it reaches your woodchoppers and your water carriers. Everyone stands together, united. How is that? So many different levels, yet we are nitzavim, unflinching, indivisible, and the Torah doesn't even use the word omdim, standing, which is a weaker expression, which indicates if there's some challenge, the person, the object may fall over. And as I said earlier, this portion is read always right before Rosh Hashanah. Because really what Hashem is saying, God is saying, Atem Nitzavim Hayom, this day, this auspicious day, you stand tall, connected, and confident before me. And how can we achieve this kind of unity when we really are so many different levels? The first thing is focus. Focus on what is Nitzavim. Focus on that immovable, eternal truth. The Torah, of course, as it says, Hashem says, God says, I am God, I haven't changed. Changed. We as humans are subject to our whims. Our rational minds can change according to our moods and circumstances. Only God and his truth and wisdom remain unbending and never ending. There's a story told of a pious chassid who was imprisoned in Russia because he was spreading Judaism. And while in prison, one of the prisoners was actually a performer, a very skilled tightrope walker. And as he deftly walked across the rope, airborne, high up in space, this chassid looked at him in bewilderment. How do you walk so nimbly across the rope, so confident? And he responded, I keep my eye glued to that immovable spot at the end of the rope. That's my focus. And you know what's most challenging? When I reach the end and I have to turn around and lose that momentary focus. It's all about focus. But the Torah, interesting, enumerates all these different levels and yet at the same time says, stresses, atem nitzavim, you stand together strong. How is this accomplished? And who is the leader? And who is the water carrier? So, first of all, how do we know who a leader is? How can we gauge who's a leader? We tend to overestimate our own accomplishments and under-evaluate someone else's endeavors. Who are we to gauge who is a leader? Secondly, I may be a leader in one area, very gifted, very strong, very talented, but there are so many other areas where so many other people can be leaders. And thirdly, the difference, the vast difference between us and God is immeasurable. It's huge. And so the difference, difference between us and any other human being pales in comparison. What's the difference? And therefore, we can really view every other person as a leader. And we can stand strong and united and forget our differences and forget the different levels. 
And if we truly unite in this way, and with our focal point, that nitzavim, that immovable, immovable Torah, God's wisdom, then we can truly approach God this Rosh Hashanah and say, Barchenu avinu kulanu ke'echad. Please, dear Father, bless us as one unit. And our takeaway, when you go out today, tomorrow, whoever you encounter, perceive that person as a leader. What can I learn from him? What can I learn from her? How can I grow? And as always, I conclude, the Torah speaks so personally to me and to you.